So in the last seven days, I've created one short per day, one on my personal account and one on my theme page. I spent over 14 hours editing these shorts and gained over 20,000 views on TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube. In that time, I've received messages from you guys asking how I've been editing these shorts. And it's actually really simple. So in this video, I'm gonna break down a step-by-step -step tutorial on how I do it. I'll also be sharing some huge mistakes I made that have caused me to get a TikTok strike and get zero views on one of my YouTube shorts. So this is the first time that I've actually been consistent posting short form content and honestly I've learned so much. So make sure to stick around to the end so you can learn from the stupid mistakes that I've made so you don't have to experience the feeling of spending hours editing a masterpiece for it to only get zero views and you to end up with a TikTok strike. So not only is this a fun skill to learn but it's also monetizable. Whether you want to create the content for yourself or for other people, if you copy my optimized format you'll be able to rapidly decrease your editing time. So the biggest question I get from everyone is what software am I using? and I'm actually using CapCut. I was using Final Cut Pro, but genuinely for editing shorts especially, CapCut is 10 times faster. And I'll show you why. So as always, there's a Google Doc in the description. And for this video, to make it easy to follow along with, I'm providing you all the resources that I use to create this. So you can literally follow along step by step so you can learn this skill too. So let's jump into the step by step tutorial. But before we do, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. So if you're thinking, why should I learn this skill? I've been putting an affiliate link in my my pinned comments for all the shorts I posted. And this has generated me over a hundred pounds in affiliate commissions. So once you've learned this skill, at the end of the video, I'm gonna show you three affiliate programs that you can join and start earning revenue by posting this style of content. So what we're going to need for this, so one, you're gonna to need to download CapCut. So that would be linked in the description. I'll also put a link in the Google Doc for you. And then we're gonna to need to get our A roll and our B roll for our footage. So the A roll for this video, so you guys can follow along with me, I'm going to be using a podcast clip. And then for the b-roll i give you three options in the google doc so you can either google relevant pictures let me show you what i mean by this so let me pull up the timeline so when i'm talking about solomon i could search on google solomon or i can when i'm talking about riches i could search like coins on google and then i can use this for my b-roll uh, but what i think has a really impactful effect on YouTube from when I've been watching it and consuming it myself is images that are generated by AI. So I've given you two options, Mid Journey, which is $10 a month. But if you want a free version, you can use Leonardo.ai and I'll show you how to use this. You just Google Leonardo.ai. You click on the top one, looks like this. You just click start using Leonardo and click yes, I'm whitelisted and it will open up the interface. And then all you have to do is like Mid Journey, you go in, find a style that you like, click generate with this model. And then all you have to do is just search for what your script says. So for example, the script that we're going to be using today is Luke Belmar talking about a podcast about uh, the story of Solomon in the Bible. And he basically talks about kingdoms, talks about riches, talks about wisdom. So obviously the visual cues relate to the script. So let's go back to the Google doc. So you either Google it or you use mid journey to generate these images, or you can use Leonardo.ai gives you a certain number of free credits so this is accessible for everyone and then what we're doing with this b-roll is that the experts say the tiktok gear say that you need to have something changing on screen every four to six seconds so if the average short is 30 seconds long then we need to have five to six different bits of b-roll that we can pop on top of the screen as well as sound effects and music these are the key fundamentals in having viral short form content so for the follow along of this i've got one podcast clip but if you join my discord you have access to loads of of different podcast clips that I've curated for you in a Google Drive as I'm beta launching the viral content vault. So check out Shapers University Discord. So you can come to our, my Discord and if you come to the 30 day challenge into the instruction section and you have access to the Google Drive which has loads of podcasts, viral music, overlays, everything you need to edit viral shorts. Now we've got the A-roll footage which is our podcast and we've got the B-roll footage. So this is the type of content we're going to create. There's a story in the Bible where Solomon is dreaming the dream state and God comes to him in dream state. God says to Solomon, anything that you want, I will give you. You want wealth, I'll give you wealth. I'll make you the richest man. You want kingdoms, I'll give you. See, so the visual cues basically just follow the storyline of the script. Step one of the actual editing process, size and crop your video to fit nine by 16 ratio, create a roll that's fast paced and engaging. So let's go over to CapCut. What we meant by this is you can literally just click and drop this on here and then open this to the correct nine by 16 ratio. So this is obviously for short. And then if it's not the black background like that, you can just change it in CapCut. So obviously that would be landscape and 
9 by 16 is portrait. So now we've got the right aspect ratio. If you right click on here, you can remove filler words and then this will automatically come in and basically break down the script and you'll be able to delete scenes. You can literally just click delete and it will automatically remove these sections. But we want it to start from there's a story in the Bible, so we keep that there. That's our perfect clip there. So then I'll just delete the next few scenes and then just click delete in the bottom. Okay, so it starts from there, so just click delete. So look, that pause is too long as well, so you can just, so all you have to do is just command blade or control blade and look, come back, control blade, delete. This is basically you just cutting out filler words, any spaces, any pauses, because you're trying to keep the attention of someone in death scroll. So you just want it to be information, 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 no pauses, no lulls, no bits of silence. So now we've got the A roll down. Let's look on the Google Doc at what the next step is. So size and crop. Now it's time to add the filter and effects. I recommend the clear filter for personal content and the smart and sharpen effect for podcast clips. And then I'll add the spark and the zoom lens and some additional effects to the B roll covers later on in the video. Let's go and add some effects. We want to go to Smart Sharpen. So obviously I favorite to do all these and I recommend you guys do this. But if you just go on Video Effects, you'll be able to scroll through and find these. So I recommend Smart Sharpen. You can literally click and add and drag this over the entire video. You've probably seen this all over TikTok, this style of effect. It's literally that easy to apply. And then I will also add a filter clear. There you go. Uh, so we'll add that. And then we're gonna reduce the blur on the sharpen and reduce the filters a little bit and the range. But so we wanna basically increase the picture quality. Look at the dramatic difference of the before and after. So that just obviously adds engagement to it. So now we've got the two base filters that add engagement to the A roll. The other effects which I'm talking about are the spark. This basically just adds texture, which is another visual element to keep viewers engaged. And then the final one we're gonna add is zoom. There we go. And then what you wanna do is come over to the range and just make the range really small and then let's watch this and it basically would just zoom in and out zoom in and out throughout the whole video and if you times this with your b-roll then it just adds to the engagement factors that's it that's our a-roll done let's go to the next step in the google doc so we've added the effects now we can start adding b-roll the reason why i've moved over to CapCut instead of using final cut pro is because of all these animations so let me show you and this is genuinely like a massive time saver so if you go onto your media and let's just say section there so instantly you can literally just come over to here and all you have to do is just add an effect from their pre-done motion graphics. There we go, zoom out. And then if you drag and drop the whole clip to the duration of it, zoom out, let's watch this. So what I mentioned here is that you've got full screen B-rolls where it completely covers your entire phone screen and this adds to sort of like the cinematic effect. And then you've got pop-ups. And let me show you the example of a pop-up. You can do a pop-up like this. So if you're gonna have wealth, we could rotate this. This means that you can still keep the person on screen and you could do like a combo and then make sure it's always full duration. So that's how you can do pop-ups on screen. But for these storytelling ones, from my eight shorts that I've posted, there's two storytelling ones that I've posted have performed better with these a-roll cinematic scenes so let me add those and what do i say in the google docs the best one for these so mini zoom with the in animation and then the pan right and combo and then the zoom out with the in animation so this one we've just done the zoom out animation which is under the in category and it's just here zoom out and then make sure you drag it to the full length for the clip that adds a really nice cinematic look. And then the second one, we've done a combo. So it's like a motion graphic and it's the full and right. And again, make sure that it's full length for the clip. So now you've added two bits of B-roll with two different animations. I'll show you the fast way that you can literally just drag and drop and make this so much quicker for you. If you want another zoom out one, you can just copy and paste. And then where's the next bit? So kingdoms, click there, and then you can literally just drag and drop the image, the B-roll that you want to, and add it straight into there. And it'll automatically do the animation for you. And then, so here, you can just copy and paste this. So this one, I'm gonna, cause it's a multiple, I'm gonna do the train, cause it's gonna swipe through. So didn't, didn't ask for riches, and then control C. All you have to do is literally just drag it on top of there, and then click replace clip. Didn't ask for riches, didn't ask for kingdoms, ask for one thing, it says, give me wisdom. Now go through and repeat the process for your remaining clips and let's watch it back. After that, the riches came, the kingdoms came, and every other thing that comes with it. There we go.
<laughs> so that's your A roll done and that's your B roll. And that's why I've moved over to CapCut because that animation section genuinely was so slow. You'd have to keyframe each bit, having your image zooming onto the screen. And yeah, it's proper slow. Any video editors you've tried doing that, this literally speeds up your editing process so much faster. So now you've done A roll and B roll and you've added the filters. What's the next step? So once you've added the B roll, I suggest adding some stickers. I'll show you an example of this because this storytelling doesn't necessarily suit this. Let me show you my other shorts. So here, when in the video we say, don't do that, we do a sticker pop up. Yeah. So, and then we have literally a sticker effect pop up, which just exaggerates the emotion. And shorts is basically just using your eyes, your ears, and all your senses to portray a storyline. So visual through the music and also through the actual script itself. You literally just go onto stickers and then they've got a ton of pre-made ones. They're all PNGs. Some of them are animated, so you can just drag and drop them straight onto your timeline. For this story, we're not gonna use any stickers, but I just thought I'd show you that. So now we've got the baseline, we've got the visuals down. It's time to add one of the most crucial parts of a good video and that is going to be the sound effects. So I've given you guys a list of common sound effects that I use and that you see creators using. I would recommend going into your audio and just going through that list of sound effects and adding them all to your favorites here. So then you've got it right there just to easily edit. We're going to add deep whoosh basically into any zoom. We're just going to reduce this back down. Okay and then we're going to add that here. Now we just add that sound effect to the start of every single clip. And after that the riches came kingdoms came and every other thing perfect so now you've got your sound effects certain things you can add like a visual thing but again for the storytelling video we won't add these there's got so many really good ones for here back to the google doc what's next so we've done the sound effects now we need the sound engineering so what i recommend is that you go through and just scroll some youtube shorts and find what videos you actually are more drawn to you'll find that it's an emotional song or it's a funny song depending on whether you're watching like the comedy niche or motivation slash like educational niche so most of them are viral like emotional songs like the example I've got here. So as you can hear, it's so that adds so much. So I recommend that you actually add your music in the post edit within the applications themselves, stops you getting copywriting and also adds you to the list of videos under that song, which gives you more exposure for your reel. Sound engineering done, sound effects done. What's next? So the video hook and the branding. So what's the video hook? It's the little bit at the start that basically tells the viewers what exactly the video is gonna be about. Let me show you how to do this. You literally just click text, add text, right at the start. So basically people want to instantly know what it's about. So you hook them in by saying, um, and then make sure obviously it fits on the screen. And then what I do is I go onto here and you want bold font 2022. And then to get the font that most people use, there's a little few tweaks you have to do. Do a shadow. So black, opacity, max, uh, distance, quite close. And then the other hack that people don't actually know, so the bold font, so you actually put it in italics and then it looks even better. Biblical wisdom. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna have this transition on. So we can literally just do, so let's do the pop-up animation. And then for out, we're going to use this. I like the one where it like breaks off. Yeah, so we're gonna use the blow up. And then we're just gonna drag this to the start. And then just to add a little bit more, we're literally just gonna change the font to make something stand out. So we're just gonna go like that, highlight it, and let's just do yellow. God comes to him in dream state and he says, Okay, and then the final thing is we're gonna add a deep whoosh. There we go, perfect. So now we've got the hook. It's just time to do the branding, and then we're on to the captions. So for the branding, I recommend just copying and pasting that and then we're just going to use your page so for my page i'm just going to write and then down here you want to scroll down to the bottom you want to reduce opacity and then we're just going to make it literally just white and then let's drag it down here and then we're going to reduce and then we're just going to drag and drop it to like there perfect so we've got our hook and we've got our branding. Let's have a look at the Google Doc. So finally, we're going to use the auto captions filter and we're going to use the bold font 2022. I'm going to put it in italics. So let me show you how to do this. This is probably one of the best features and CapCut was one of the first apps to do this. So if you're in the desktop, the only downside is on a desktop, you can't do the single word pop up, but it only does it by line. So let me show you how to do this. It's super easy. So you just do text, then you go to auto captions, create. 
and then it's gonna automatically scan the video for the script and then it's gonna turn that into text, which is absolutely class because it's actually free. So then it's gonna put it at the bottom of the screen and all we wanna do is literally just do this right into the middle. And then all I'm gonna do is literally just do what we did for the hook. So I'm gonna do the bold font, I'm gonna up the size and then we're gonna do a shadow on pasty max and then we're just going to make it italics so on mobile you can literally do animation style and you go into combos and you'll be able to click on the single so single words will be able to come up you can't do this on computer however you can just go in so here you can see the top line there's story in the and then you just hit in front of the bible and space where solomon and then just click is dreaming and then let's see and this way you can then just have a single line which is obviously way more engaging once you've done that you can then come click your this click your captions click on top right and then animations i think literally just fade in looks good on the phone app you've got a lot more options you can literally just do spring and it'll do individual words coming up so let's watch this So now the final little touches that I think will add to this, instead of doing the spark over the gold and instead of doing the clear, so let's delete this section here. This is such a small little touch, but I think it adds massively. So let's look at the effects and then we're actually going to add some gold sparkles. And now let's watch that back. It's such a small little touch, but when you're watching, this will add to it. And then maybe add the sun over the kingdoms bit as well. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add the sun over this bit. Now look how sick that looks. Like genuinely, these little touches that you can easily add on CapCut make all the difference when it comes to the video. So let me tell you about the two mistakes that I made so you don't end up getting a TikTok strike and zero views on one of your videos. So mistake one was mentioning Andrew Tate on TikTok. For some reason, mentioning his name is just a no-go. I got a strike from this and I literally, all I popped up was a screenshot of his Twitter ad revenue and that was enough. So don't mention Andrew Tate on TikTok, you'll get striked. Two, I got zero views on one of my videos videos and I spent literally an hour editing it and it was the most heartbreaking moment and this was because I talked about sex and adult content so that is something to avoid that's why people on social media you see them write segs so don't include adult content or the word sex in your short form content and then hopefully you'll never experience the zero views heartbreak so let's jump into the analytics and see what we've learned from the first week of posting shorts every single day so first of all let me look at our theme page so we gained 9.6 thousand views and we have 305 likes and 17 subscribers. So not crazy numbers, but we learned what editing style works best, which was the one in this video. And so this is only the beginning. It's just gonna get better from here. So that was for our theme page. And now let's jump onto the analytics on my personal brand. So we got 10.6K views. We got 327 likes and we got 24 new subscribers. So what affiliate program did I use to generate over hundred pound posting these videos? It was the Sub Magic, which is a new AI captions generator and it was so easy to push this because I'd literally just said want to know how I created these captions in one click using AI and then the affiliate link to their website. I recommend either adding something like that or the real world or betting whether you go Rubet or stake. They have the best affiliate program so you can start creating content using editing skills you've learned, generate millions of views and then funnel those people into an affiliate product and start earning passive income. That is a wrap on a video. Let me know what you guys thought about this. I've had loads of requests about a step-by-step -step guide and how to edit my shorts. I'll see you guys next week. Your boy's gone skis.